So it's finally dry enough that I can open up what looks like a body bag. So this thing was brand new inside the box. I don't think it's gonna be all that interesting. I think it's just a tent top, which, yeah, this is just gonna be a ton of super heavy fabric. No idea. Inside the zipper is on the inside. So I guess it gets turned inside out somehow, but I mean, this thing, it's massive and it's a giant loop. So if you were to look inside this, you've got. You know, it's only sections that unzip, and then it stops. And then this is on the inside. That on one side, and that on the other. There is print here. So I did realize that the whole thing does unzip in sections and then come completely apart. And so that's what I did just to see what it looked like. And it is a huge advertising for some kind of air filtration company. But yeah, this thing is massive and it doesn't unhinge to lay it out end to end. It obviously went around something uh, because it is a complete loop without any breaks in it. So there it is, um, a lot of material. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I might just cut it up. I'll probably try to sell the bags for this. It's just getting rolled up. I'll throw it under cover somewhere for the time being. And I don't know. I don't know. So that's that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tack on my unload for my last two dumpster dives at the shred pile. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.
So for that load, it ended up being 1,020 pounds and at nine and a half cents a pound, 96.90. That all came from the last two dumpster dive nights. So not too bad considering I had a bunch of non-ferrous stuff and resellable items as well.